Hello everybody, this is All Washington. Today, um, this is a another All Washington rant. Today in this rant series, we're gonna talk about uh, the difference between a king, a queen, and a servant. Now, the reason why I'm doing this rant today is because um, due, due to everything that's been going on through this past uh, couple of uh, weeks, even months, and probably even years and stuff, you know what I'm saying? We've been seeing the one uh, different movement that may take a place, especially in the, in the black community. Uh, we have different uh, organizations that's, that's uh, part of the movement. One of the bigger ones um, that's known right now is the Black Lives Matter movement and stuff. Uh, one of the things that, um, that I want to touch on about this is that uh, within the movement and stuff, they're, they're trying to encourage, you know, um, um, black people to actually, you know, wake up and, you know, understand what's going on, you know, in America regarding, you know, black people and the black race and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And one of the things that they've been trying to get people to do, so, you know, to actually take a stand. Now, the, the only problem with taking a stand is that, um, these people that's part of these organizations, they got to understand that there are there are uh, two different types of people that, that exist um, and in our culture and stuff. You have kings and queens, uh, which are, you know, you could consider them as the leaders. Then you have servants and stuff. So in this rant, I'm going to uh, share with y'all the difference between the king and the queen and, and a servant and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So first of all, I started with, with a king and stuff. Um, a king is, you know, is a leader. He, he's, the, he's the one who's going to want, who's oversee everything. A king has uh, what is known as a, uh, as a leader's heart or a leader's eyes and stuff. You know what I'm saying? What it is is that he has the ability to, you know, uh, analytically see the needs of the people. You know what I'm saying? And an example of this uh, by him seeing the needs of the people is like this. You can want... Um, uh, Say, say for example, you know, uh, even you know, in a marriage or whatever stuff like with a husband, uh, he'll see the need for the family. Like if the family need food, he'll you know he'll see the need for it and go out and get it. If they need clothing, he'll you know he'll see the need and go out and get it by every way he need to go out and get it and stuff you know and different stuff like that and stuff. So that's a role what a king does. It's the same thing. He'll see the need for the people that he just go out and get it and stuff and provide for the people. And stuff, you know what I'm saying? And the people um, also respects the king. The king, he don't force um, dictatorship power, but um, but uh, he do enforce authority as well. Now, there's a difference between um, authority, power, and dictatorship and stuff. You know what I'm saying? The authority power is that he's leading and stuff. You know what I'm saying? He's leading by example and stuff. It's certain stuff that, you know, um, he would do and stuff, but it would give brain respect to him in other words but versus a dictator on uh, the dictator you know what i'm saying they they don't get respect at all the people will ultimately you know revolt revolting against the king and you know and um uh civil war civil matter and other stuff you know would be the resorts behind it and stuff now the position of the queen is the same thing in, in the marriage of a, of a wife uh, the queen is most definitely is the help me. Uh, the queen is actually is um, intertwined as the uh, the emotional part uh, for the king and stuff. So the queen, she she has the queen eyes and stuff, right? Where she sees the emotional concerns for the people and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And and uh, the emotional concerns is like you know uh, anything that's dealing with you know type of emotional thing. Whether if, um, there's an emotional uh, discrepancy going on where um, people are feeling, you know what I'm saying, being oppressed or hurt or, you know, um, feeling violated, you know, di different emotional aspects and stuff like that and stuff. And that's what the one queen world is. And, and the queen, she sees that and she conveys the message to the king because um, the king, um, the king necessarily don't have that, that particular attribute like the queen does and stuff, their emotional role and stuff. That's why you see like in relationships and marriages and stuff like that where um, the the one, the man, he's more, you know, logical in his reasoning and stuff, right? Versus the woman, she's more emotional attached with her reasoning and stuff. And, that's, and the, the reason why is because the Most High God had made it that way to make them become, as the Bible said, become one flesh and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, so that's her, 
that that's the role of a queen and stuff like that and stuff so a role of a servant is way different from a role of a king and a queen a servant is it's the it's the one it's actually the worker they're they the ones who actually um put the plan into action and stuff they the ones who move the plan forward and stuff like that and stuff you know what i'm saying on uh, the workers on uh, you can um consider the workers like being in the workplace and stuff you know what i'm saying in the workplace you know you have um you, you have the ceo you have managers then um you you have the workers and stuff or the worker bees they the one who make the operation goes according to its plan and stuff you know what i'm saying um uh, you give them a certain order to do, they're going to do it and stuff like that and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And that's what they do and stuff. And now the reason why I'm giving you the these three different um, roles, um, king, queen, and servant is this is that, uh, you know, everybody, y'all got to understand that um, God has, has placed in our DNA all of us to have a certain critical role and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, where some of us, we're going to be kings. Uh, we have a king heart and stuff. Some of us we're gonna be queens. We're gonna have a queen heart. Then there's gonna be some of us who's gonna be servants. We're gonna have a servant's heart as well and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And so like when you see people like uh, like these movements and stuff right now, you you trying to encourage people to do um, certain things. They're not gonna respond to that because what's in what's in them and stuff. Now case in point and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like different stuff that's going on. You know, you're trying to get like a community event. It, it, um, uh, implemented and stuff, you know what I'm saying, where you're trying to do stuff for the community, you know what I'm saying, you're the king and you're trying to get stuff done for the community and you're trying to, in other words you're trying to train people to to uh, have your have your same attribute and stuff I'm telling you right now that that thing is it, not going to work because of that other person on DNA what's in them and stuff, you know what I'm saying, if they have a servant DNA, then they're not going to go no further they being a servant and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Unless they break the chain or break the yoke and go further than that and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Which ultimately is a choice and stuff. But like in most cases, um, people they they um they don't have uh in their mindset they don't have that choice. They they either, they either are a servant or a king or a queen and that's it and stuff, you know what I'm saying? But it takes a really really strong person to break out of that, to break past the, the you know what I'm saying the system. And stuff, you know what I'm saying? And so, so, um, so this, this one, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to um tell people right now is that there, there's a total difference and stuff, you know what I'm saying? In it and stuff, in your role, you have to understand. Also, you have to want, even as a king, like say for example, once again, you have a king role and stuff. You have to understand the role of your people and stuff. You have to understand that no matter what you're gonna do, they're gonna be service and stuff. Matter of fact, case in point, um. Have, have you uh, have you ever noticed that like when you put things together, you probably put a community event together, stuff like that, and stuff, and all of a sudden you start drawing people to you and stuff like that. That's a role of a king, but also at the same time, the people that's being drawn to you stuff, them are your servants and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And like um, they they the ones who's gonna help you on um, put the plan into action, put the plan into um, motion and stuff like that. It's not their place to think like you and stuff. That's your role as a king or as a queen to, uh, you know what I'm saying, to implement the things that need to be done and stuff, you know what I'm saying, in order to, you know, in order for your, um, your kingdom or your legacy to be taken care of and stuff. So you got to understand that and stuff, you know what I'm saying. So as a king and as a queen, you have to understand that you have to treat your servants right and stuff. You got to treat them correct. If you don't treat them correct, then they're going to revoke against you and stuff. They're going to turn against you and, you know what I'm saying, um, and all these other stuff. And we see it throughout history and stuff. Um, even when I want civil rights leaders, so we've seen it through history with um, Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Rosa Parks, and stuff. Uh, we see all these people who starts a movement and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Then, then um, the people that before for them and stuff like that. But they start um, in some way. They they start straying away from the people that got them there in the first place and stuff. You know what I'm saying? They start focusing in on other matters stuff like that. But they always have to be connected. To the servants as well and stuff too. If you treat the servants right, they're gonna follow you even into death and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And like another case in point is even with this country and stuff like that. The same, the same conditions on down talking about even happens right now in America and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You have kings, you have queens, and you have servants and stuff as well and stuff. You know what I'm saying? 
uh, right now, you know what I'm saying? You have people right now uh, where um, their service, they'll follow, um, they'll follow this country even to death. They they call that patronism and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Where they'll follow whatever the king tell them to do, they're gonna do it. They don't care what other people say. They don't care what they believe says, whatever stuff like that. And stuff, so they're gonna follow it and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what they that's what they've been programmed to do and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So. The thing about this stuff, you know what I'm saying, uh, is that if you if you want, if you're a king or your queen and you're trying to get some get somebody to follow you and stuff like that, you got to give them a sense of you got to give them something. You know what I'm saying? You got to give them a sense of hope. A hope. Give them a sense of faith. You know what I'm saying? As well. The stuff showing them that by you following me, this is what's gonna be the end resource, even though it's gonna be hard, but this is gonna be the end resource or the fruits of your labor if you follow me. And stuff, you know what I'm saying? And they have to uh, see it um, physically, mentally, and spiritually as well. This stuff too, in order for them to follow you. So if they don't see the vision that you want to place before them, then it's gonna be impossible for them to follow you. They're not gonna follow you at at, at all. And stuff, you know what I'm saying? So you you have to so so you have to understand that you have to understand the, the critical roles and stuff. You know what I'm saying? With, with everyone, everyone in this um in this country, um the people around you and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And like another thing too is that like don't get discouraged when when people don't don't want to follow what you're talking about or follow your agenda and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? The things that that you have to um you have to consider stuff too is um whatever agenda that that you put in out there stuff on uh, whether it's for the people or not, you have to you have to um examine your own heart as well as stuff. So you have to um. You have to um, ask yourself: Is if is is this on agenda for the people? Or I'm doing it out of spite, or I'm doing it um, out of you know what I'm saying? Because I'm hurt and bitter, and so I want people to feel my pain, type thing, and stuff like that, and stuff. You know what I'm saying? In other words, having that on uh, the old saying, having a cat, Captain Ahab mentality, where it's all about you and you only, and stuff, and you're trying to draw people into your insaneness and stuff like that and stuff and like that's that's nothing i've been seeing and noticing about you know the different movements that be going on so like some people they have a total insaneness going on about them so they want people to follow them and they insane this time like yeah follow me draw your guns and stuff like that uh f white people f black people you know whatever and stuff like that and they and they want people to follow that and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Some people will follow, other people will not follow them. Just because they won't follow it, that doesn't mean that they're not part of the movement or whatever, stuff like that. They just don't see your vision or whatever, stuff like that. So you have to take this, that into consideration as well and stuff too, you know what I'm saying? So I hope this rant is uh, helping um, people out out there to understand the difference in the roles and stuff like that as well and stuff too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, um, so, so that's all, all, all I'm gonna say about this on rent. Um, I may go even further to this on going into more details about this king and queen and servant role. Uh, and I could also go into a, a more biblical and spiritual point of view and stuff as, as well, stuff too. But right now, I just chose not to and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because I just want to just give you a basically um, a 13 minute overview of what I'm talking about and stuff. Like I always, y'all, um, fight faith with faith, and God bless y'all.